Pass Route 33 heading east. We're going to hang a left on County Route 12 at Alpena. And that's going to take us to the Lower Lady Dispersed Camping Area in the Monongahela National Forest. right in here is pretty narrow. There you go. Delta 162 is the uh, forest road we're on now. Second, 2020, and uh, yeah, we have people free camping here. Let's see a generator out on that trailer. Here, 
give you a little walking tour. Okay, we're at the Lower Gandhi Dispersed Camping Area in the Monongahela National Forest. Today is May 2nd, 2020. Um, you can see there's quite a few campers here. It's 14 days free camping. This is a lesser known free camping area in West Virginia. Um, in fact, if you look at the Forest Service maps and uh, both online and the hard copy Forest Service map, this area is not even on there. So it's, it's a lesser known uh, camping area free camping area here in West Virginia. So let's take a look around. Boy, this river is gorgeous today. Lady Fork of the Cheat River. And Shavers Mountain. And, uh, so let's continue. We'll walk down here and see what kind of campsites we have along the river. Here's another view of the river. And uh, you can see that's a part of the dispersed camping area. You got a fifth wheel up in there. A couple travel trailers. Put another one back in here. So, uh, people enjoying the day here. The Monongahela National Forest. There's some uh, more great sites down the stream here. Let's go check them out. And here's an empty dispersed camping site. Got a fire pit. Got a little walkway down the river there. You got plenty of room for a rig. Gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Here's another section of the uh, Lower Glady Dispersed Camping Area. Normally they would have, and I believe they have several of them, we'll go check it out, but uh, um, normally they have these vault toilets in operation, but uh, I tried this, it's uh, locked. Uh, this location is not currently maintained and uh, references COVID-19. Okay, I just talked to those folks down there, and uh, yeah, here's the, the vault toilets closed, and then uh, that's my three-quarter ton diesel up here, my ram, here's another dispersed camping area. would be a good tent site or van site, car camping, small travel trailer, like less than 25 feet. Got a little firing back here. I don't even know if you get a small camper in there. My, my truck just fits in there, so. But there's plenty of other sites. Um, we'll go down the the road a little bit ways. There's multiple different uh, roadside dispersed camping along uh, the Glady Fork of the Cheat River here.
So, um, gosh, <sighs> wish people would take their trash with them. Should pack it out, keep the place open. Okay, let's uh, go downstream, take a drive down there, and we'll show you some more. Okay. So this was the first set of the dispersed camping here in the Glady, Lower Glady dispersed camping area. It's all 14 day free camping. Just talked to a mother daughter team and uh, they've been coming here for years. Tell me the rivers stocked with trout might explain why they're so busy we're con uh, continuing down the forest road and there's multiple other spots down here so I will chime back in when we find a few here Across the on the opposite side of the road from the river, there's another dispersed camping area. I'm just pulling here. Take a look around. Okay, here's uh, another dispersed camping site. This one's pretty long. And the clearance is okay. You could probably get a get a fifth wheel in there. I had looked a couple years ago, and I think this is one of the sites I had selected. Because if you go down further down, and you you're on your way back, you could just back the fifth wheel in here. Wouldn't have any problem. Uh, just my personal preference. I probably would not take my 38 foot fifth wheel down in here, but just because of the narrow access roads and a couple sharp turns, particularly that one on the bottom of the hill that it showed you. Um, but people do bring their fifth wheels out here, so I could just guess it's a matter of preference. Uh, there is no cell service down here. Uh, zero, either on Verizon. Just a little, got a little stream in the back here. That goes up into the wilderness area. But, uh, got a fire ring. You can, I'm about maybe 15 feet off the road with the truck, and then you got all this left. So, yeah, you could get a a big rig in there if you're willing to drive out the narrow road so let's pack it out lg6 whatever that means new garbage service pack it out there's a final look at the site. Let's continue downstream and see what else we can find. Okay, here's another set of uh, dispersed campsites. Spot. Man, that is 
pretty. Take a photo. Wow, that is pretty. Got a little split right there, and there's the river. That's gorgeous. I believe there's more campsites further down, so let's go uh, check them out. I guess this is one reason why you may not want to take a big rig in here. pullover was here. <sighs> yeah, if you had a Class B camper, this is the ideal spot. Ideal camp uh, dispersed camping area. Carroll, West Virginia. Beautiful. Okay, here's a uh, another set of dispersed camping. Here's that tent camp, tent camping spot I just referenced. That'd be a nice place to put your tent. Got a little trail that goes back to the river. Park your vehicle beyond the rocks there. And, uh, Road, and this is the half moon circle where they had uh, a number of different dispersed camping sites. Fire ring back in the corner there. There's your, like I say, normally those uh, vault toilets would be open, but they're locked up because of the COVID-19. So it looks like we got one, two, three camping spots in this 
one circle right here. See that sign that says LG 14? Back it out. That whole half moon there where my truck is, is that campsite. And then the fire ring is just on the other side of that, my truck. So that leads me to believe, I'll count them on the way out, but that leads me to believe there's at least 14 designated dispersed camping sites within this dispersed camping area. Okay, so uh, some final thoughts on what I think of the Lower Glady dispersed camping area in the Monongahela National Forest. Uh, first of all, personally, I would rule out big rigs. I would say you'd be safe coming in with anything under 25 feet, be that a uh, Class B camper, truck camper, or uh, tent camping. All that would be fine. Uh, I'd be a little leery bringing my 38-foot fifth wheel out here. But it is a beautiful area. The river stocked with trout, plenty of uh, fishermen out today. Um, there are 14 campsites, uh, designated dispersed camping sites here. 14 days free camping in the Monongahela National Forest. Um, not far from Elkins, probably maybe 16, 17 miles from Elkins, West Virginia. Okay, as promised, uh, before we get to the B-roll, this is the Milus, Milus um, trailhead, which takes you up into the Otter Creek, Otter Creek Wilderness area. Got parking for, oh, maybe five vehicles here. That's the beginning of the trail. And down there's the forest road. That's the Glady Fork of the Cheat River. We were just on. So, and this is within walking distance of the dispersed camping area. So if you didn't want to drive your vehicle up here, you can just walk up from your campsite and uh, to get back up into the uh, wilderness area. Like I said, I've been on the Seneca Creek Trail, which goes straight down the creek. Now this gets pretty rough up in there, some of these trails, because it's a wilderness area. It's not, they're not marked trails. You'll have some Cairns, but uh, they're not marked trails. So I definitely recommend GPS. Um, and very dense. Um, didn't have that much problem on the, the Seneca Creek Trail and uh, so that's the highlight but you can access the whole wilderness area from this Milas Trailhead, FYI. <laughs>